Hey guys, this video is going to go over how to find the range and side lengths of triangles. So in the last video, you learned about the triangle inequality theorem, which, which tells you that if you add any two sides of a triangle, it has to be bigger than the third side. So it doesn't matter what two sides you pick, um, if you add them together, it must be bigger than the third side. Now we learned a little shortcut way, is that if you always test the two smallest sides, and they're bigger than the third side, then all the rest of the sides will work. So I look here, and 4 and 5 are my two smaller sides, so I will add 4 plus 5, that equals 9, and 9 is bigger than the third side, 6. So this will make a triangle. Okay, so we're going to use what we learned about the sides of triangles to help us figure out um, some missing sides in a triangle, what they could be. All right, so knowing that about triangles, we are going to try to figure out well, what number could x be if I already know two sides of a triangle? So I know one side of a triangle is 4 and one side is 8. So I want to know what numbers could all work for x. So I want you to go ahead and try to think of a number that would work if I plugged it in for x. Okay, so let's just see if I said 5. Okay, if x was 5, if I add these two sides, 5 and 4, that's 9. That's bigger than the third side. So that would definitely work. Okay, I could try a different number. Maybe I'll try 3. Okay, if I add 4 and 3, that's 7. That is not bigger than the third side, so that side would not work. So I want to know what are all the lengths that will work um, for x there. Okay, so there's a quick, easy way to do that. Okay, um, to find the lowest that x can be, all you need to do is subtract the two sides that they give you. So if I do 8 minus 4, I end up with 4. Okay. So I know that my side has to be bigger than 4. The smallest length it could be is 4. We already figured out that 3 doesn't work there. Um, 4, if we, if we plugged a 4 in, 4 plus 4 is 8. That's not bigger than 8, so that side wouldn't work. So it has to be bigger than 4. Okay, so next I am going to see what the highest it can be is. I'm just going to get rid of that 4. To figure that out, you just add the two sides. So 8 plus 4, that equals 12. Okay, so um, if I wanted to see if 12 actually works, let's do 12. Now, if I add the two smaller sides together, 8 and 4, that is 12. So it's not bigger than the third side, so it has to be smaller than 12. So any number between 4 and 12 will work. Okay, to show that, there we get, we're going to try to write an inequality. So x can be between 4 and 12. So I'm going to put 4 and 12. Okay, it, can be, it has to be bigger than 4. Now, if you look at this, this shows x is bigger than 4, but it has to be smaller than 12. So if you look at this part, it shows that x is smaller than 12. So in general, this says x has to be between 4 and 12. It can't be equal to 4, it can't be equal to 12. But any side between 4 and 12 will work. If you want to test that out, you could just pick another number, some side between 4 and 12. Let's try um, 7. Okay, if you plug a 7 in for x, Okay, um, a quick way to test is to add the two smaller sides, 7 and 4, that's 11. That's bigger than 8, so it works. So any number between 4 and 12. Okay, if we take a look at this one, we want to know, well, what could x be that will make this a triangle? It has to be a certain length, okay? And it can be between a couple different numbers. So a quick way to do it to find the smallest it can be is subtract. So I'll do 7.5 minus 7, that equals 0.5. So that is the smallest it can be. It can't be 0 0.5, it just has to be a little bit bigger than that. Okay, to find the biggest, you add 7 plus 7.5 is 14.5. Okay, so my x has to be between 0 0.5, that's the lowest it can, um, it has to be just bigger than 0 0.5, and it can go up to 14.5. Okay, and then the symbols, um, x can be bigger than 0 0.5, but less than 14.5. So anything between those. Now, again, it can't be exactly 0.5 because if I put a 0.5 here and I add the two smaller sides, 7 plus 0.5, that's 7.5. That is not bigger than the third side. So that's why it doesn't include 0.5. If it did, we would put this equal sign here. But it doesn't, so i got to get rid of that. Okay, I'd like you to push pause, draw this one out, and try this one. What could the possible side lengths for x be? Push play when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, so to find the smallest, it can be subtract. 9 minus 5, that is 4. To find the biggest it can go up to, add. 9 plus 5 is 14. Okay, so my x, that side length, can be between 5 
and 14. Okay, and I'll put my inequality symbols. X is bigger than 5 or X is less than 14. And then just to test, let's try 10 because that's between 5 and 14. If this was 10, I'll add my two smaller sides, 9 and 5. That's 14. That is definitely bigger than 10. Okay, you can try another number. Let's try 6. So if this was a 6, add my two smaller sides, 6 and 5. That's 11. That's bigger than 9. So that works. So any number between 5 and 14. If you have any questions on how this works, please check in with your teacher during class.